Welcome back guys, I'm MJ Haggis and this is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. I'm going to start this episode by welcoming three new subscribers. We've got Simple Simon, Tyler Hanlon and Tailfeather. Thank you so much for subscribing, it is greatly appreciated. Right, on with this episode. We're going to start a new contract, it's Ore Sorting Centre, which you can see in the top right. Wooden planks is how I'm going to start it. Now. I'll fill you in with the details of what happened after the end of the last recording. As you can see, I've got this. This is the Rezani or Rev. How do you pronounce that? Rezvani Edes. This is this is a mod scout, and we have next to us. This is the White Western Star, and this is just a DLC, not a DLC. This is a vanilla truck, but it's got the mod trailer on the back of it, and that's what we'll be going for the wooden planks. But I don't know the way or the best way. So we're going to go up with the, the Hades and scout it out. We are back at the main garage on the map, as you can see. And this is the route I've set up to the sawmill. It looks like a route going up this way. If I move that out of the way, oh, I didn't really mean to, but as you can see, there's lots of water here. So I'm wondering if that's meant to be like a, a stream coming down there. It's not actually the road. I don't know. We're going to go and find out. And there's another way that looks like it comes down the center here. If you can see my mouse going backwards and forwards. Or we go around the bottom way and see if that's the route. We won't know until we get up there and figure it out. And that's what we're going to go and do just now. So it seems nice and bright. Let's go and, uh, let's go and try not to crash. This is being recorded and I'm going to get out on the same day. This is Boxing Day, so the 26th of December. So hopefully I'll get this recorded, edited and uploaded all in the same day, ready for the normal uh, time it comes out for you guys, you know, whichever part of the world it is. But it's normally for me, it's about midnight or there. It's a little bit after maybe sometimes. I'm under pressure, pressure to get this recorded nice and well and then get it all done and uploaded okay this is a good start so we've got a road going off here the little side roads that I've driven past but never really paid much attention to oh and it is a stream okay it's a frozen stream where's that road go then Need to get the cow. Oh, I can't even get the map in closer. Stuck on the hill. Hmm. Okay. So basically, that road goes into this building. Oh, that's not much use. We need to go up the hill. Okay. That doesn't look like a road to me. It does not look like a road. It does look like there's tracks coming down there though, so maybe, maybe it is. And that's just the ice melting and it's coming down the actual road. Um, and then maybe not. There's a telegraph pole up to the left. Hold on a sec, let's back it up. Go off to the left a wee bit. Is that a wee? No, I'm thinking normally you'd have the telegraph poles by the roadside, but I don't see any way naturally over there. That's a shame. Okay, maybe we could go up. If we can we climb up onto that rock, I'm sure we can. We've climbed up over worse. But if you think that there's a sawmill, okay, that was that was relatively easy actually. But if there's a sawmill, why would you not have a road? Okay, there's a road. Where does that go? Way up here. So I wouldn't have even considered that was a road if I was looking at it on the map. And then it goes where? Comes down here. There's no obvious junctions off this road here, so where does... 
Does it go up to the support of the meteorologists? I said that I had problems pronouncing that the last time, and I have normally no troubles. Right, anyway, so maybe that's where that road goes, but then where does it go off? That way, so that just leads up towards the sawmill. Hmm. So could we get our vanilla truck up here, this way? That's the question. That's not even a road there. This is a road, but it's underwater. Okay, just go over that rock. I think it's still under me, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so this is nice and easy. And we're in... See, there's no other roads that way. Interesting. How, what is the official road in here? If that's it, that's crazy. Hmm. I don't see any main road that you bring a truck up here. Why would you have a sawmill where you can't get truck access? Okay. Engine off. Let's go and get the... What way is it? Let's get to that waypoint as well while we're at it. Where's me truck? White Western Star 4964. I'm not using any mods. I've got the Azov JBE in the garage ready to go, but I thought it'd be nice to try it with another vanilla truck. So... It was uh, mentioned in the comments, I believe, by Tyler Hanlon, who is considering getting this game. So, guys, if you want to help him, any questions, please feel free to answer. He's considering getting it, but he'll be on the Xbox, I believe he said, um, and wants to play the game in the, the campaign side of the game, which is basically just the, the vanilla game. Um, without any mods. Is it a good game? Put your comments in uh, below. Let them know what you think of the game as it stands, especially if you've got a console. I'm playing on the PC and um, if you followed my Let's Play from the beginning, I did play without any mods until much, much later when virtually all of the, the lorries or the trucks and the mods for it were uh, uh, already obtained by me. And then I thought, right, time to show off some mods. So I was way down the line of playing this vanilla game with the official DLC. So if you've got that and you're in a similar position, guys, please do leave a comment for him to read and uh, help him make a decision whether it is for him or if it's not. I think it's a brilliant game, even if you were to play it without mods. So much fun, so much of a challenge plenty of vehicles and certainly if you do decide to play with mods so many more vehicles to choose so far this white western star is doing really well now can he get up there go on just get one wheel up and we're going to be fine Maybe. go on Oh, don't, don't slide into the water. Go oh, on. A little bit of momentum. No, we've lost it. Right, need a tree. No visible weight. Oh, no, no attachment points. Right, okay, this could make it so much more difficult. Let's try again. Oh. I didn't want to come all the way down. I wanted to try and take a run at it. Oh, we burst a tyre with that. Ouch. Oh, but we're up. Oh, yeah, look, we are up. Oh, okay, this vehicle's not going to thank me for this journey. Oh, that flat tire's not helping. However, we're okay. Now that we're up, as luck would have it, when I kitted this guy out, we have a spare. So let's get that fitted. Repair. One spare wheel. Hey, where's it? There we go. I took a fair old bit of damage to the suspension. I don't have any repairs for that. But we do have the Rizvani up the hill. So, all good. 
Going down will be a whole lot easier. That's a tricky one, especially with having no winch points available there. Um, as I was saying before, when I first got this guy, just to bring him out, I bought him, he's fresh off the production line, kind of. And I've just kept him out with the normal things that I do. He's obviously got the chain tyres, all vanilla, uh, raised suspension, biggest engine, snow runner or off-road gearbox. Um, what else did I put on? It's a big snorkel there, top right. Uh, and that's about it, I think. Nothing too fancy. But it's nice just to give a, a vanilla truck a, a wee run out. Okay, we'll get the repairs on the way back out if I remember. I hope... Yes, unlimited supply of wooden planks. I was concerned it wasn't unlimited. Nice! Now we're just going to get back down the hill. I say like that's an easy thing but it can tend to not be. Right let's jump back into the Rizvani. Yeah. Rizvani and repair. The trunk or the roof rack? We'll go from the roof rack. Oh, I'm not close enough. Okay. Definitely close enough now. Roof rack to the question start. There we go. Finish off. Anything else? That looks about it. Oh no, engine a wee bit. Okay. Engine off. I'll get the Rizvani probably back to the garage after this. I don't know when we'll be back up here again. Um, but he'll need to top up his supplies anyway, so that's fine. Engine is off. Let's change it back. I could have done it the easier way, but mind right, I'm not going through the mud I'm going to go around the back of the trees Just caught. That's okay. That's okay. Plenty of trees here. Just to pull it off there. Okay. Now, release and do not tip over. Please do not tip over. Got a winch point here. I'm spinning all the wheels. Let's try it. Go here. Come on. Not playing. Go on, boy. Go on. That's deep there. Hey, where's the road? There's the road. Okay, we're caught in the next tap lamp post. No, it's a telegraph pole. We are free. Night. Downhill we go. Oh, 15 minutes almost in and we're really only the first proper journey to the ore sorting centre. And again, my question is, without knowledge, does that road up there lead back to the main road? Or is that purely up to the the weather place, the meteorologists. I gotta put the winch out, get rid of the winch, and break off. I should probably put a winch on here just to keep me from sliding all the way downhill because that's gonna be slippy slidey. Oh, lowest gear. Okay. 
Oh, work out okay. That's the trick, is to select the lowest gear and actually drive down the hill. Don't let it hit free wheel, because that's when you lose control. You're actually driving it down. We're going to cut off to the left, so there's nothing in there. I'm curious now with that road, I might send the Hades up that way and have a wee scouting out drive. Right, well done, White Western Star. There's so many vehicles with that kind of name, Western Stars and White Western Stars, and I keep on getting confused, so if I call it the wrong thing, forgive me. Go on, get up onto the road. drive at the moment. Fuel's getting a little bit low though. Let me just pull up here at the side of the road. Might need to bring out a wee fuel truck. I can't remember if we're going as far as the fuel station. I don't think we are. Here it is there. Fuel station's not far away. We should make that. That could be a bad decision, but it'll be fine. Can't forget how good the vanilla trucks are. You kind of move on to the bigger stuff like that. I use the Tegas an awful lot at the beginning of this Let's Play once I had the Tega. He just did everything. But these guys are still pretty good. I can't remember how quickly you get access to them. If this is one of the ones you might get given in a, in a map. vehicles I had and sold to move on to try out different vehicles. I've got a funny feeling this guy was a very capable truck. Unless there's one very similar to it. You need to remind me. Now I actually hope I'm going in the right direction. Is that where we would have come out of before? a bit different. Doing well considering he's got the ice tyres and not the mud tyres. again before I explode the diff. snort, doesn't it? It kind of looks a bit bizarre. Way up there. Something to the Royal BM's snorkel. And you had two of the same either side. I 
gets into the high ratio gear quite easily, which is nice. You don't feel like it's going to stall out on you. The yellow down arrow is approaching fast. Hit something. Came to an abrupt halt. Oh, almost again. Go on. So good. Classic old workhorse. Okay, better see where I'm going. That's the or sorting centre right up ahead now, isn't it? Yeah, it must be. What an excellent job, White Western Star. Here's that trailer for the other truck that we gained on the SCI. That's got to be a contract one at the very end, I think. I did see something about that when I had a quick look through. Anyway, let's get rid of these planks. Nice and easy, just like that. Okay, next job, let's put the engine off. Metal beams, now that's easy enough because that's close by. Let's just back up the road to the warehouse. What else have we got? Six consumables and four concrete blocks. Consumables, I think, was down here, yes. Consumer oh, there's only two of them. Ah, okay. Where was the other lot of consumables? Two of them there, so we're still looking for two more. That's metal framing, that's a drop-off. What about this warehouse then? Tega, none there. You're lit up for the metal beams. What's this warehouse? Ah, there's the unlimited consumables. Okay, other end of the map. Had to be, of course. And we are so close down to here, so maybe we'll just pop around the road. We'll get some fuel and we'll grab the... What do we need from here? Just, we can grab two metal beams, two consumables, and that's it. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll get them dropped off, and then we'll be probably getting towards the end of this episode, but the rest is, oh, so much to do. So much to do. Right, back it out. In fact, just back it up a little. We can go that way. Must be getting towards the end, that's evening rapidly approaching. Still nobody's got rid of that big boulder on the bridge. A 
And those planks on that little scout trailer, it is a contract or a task, definitely. So I'm not going to use them for anything other than its intended purpose. They're just in a view of an awkward position, but let's not worry about that just yet. Again, we've got to go back through this lot. through there to the railway line. Okay, that tree's not giving it up. Am I still attached to it? Get off it. Anything to avoid that mud, but I'm taking just as long now. Go on. Get over. along the tracks. Some trucks seem to be better at getting onto the tracks and staying nice and square to them than others. This guy's not so good. Could be my driving of course, but... Even with the faffing about it, just before I got into the tracks, I think this is still quicker. Got to get off them again. Mm. Oh. Oh. Something's not liking it. Those little railings. Go on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah, didn't like that at all. Mm. What did I break? Suspension. And that looks like it. Maybe I'll come off before I come through there next time. Right, cargo. Now rolls, no. Fuel, concrete slabs, where are the metal beams? Yeah. And two consumables. That's us. Ah, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to detach the trailer here and go and get a trailer out the one just around the back. Repair and refuel. Ah, don't need to refuel. Repair mainly and we'll head back in the next episode. We've only got to go around the corner and then it's this warehouse for the concrete blocks. That might be a case of crafting some sort of crafting them means cement and I think you get cement. Did I see it way up here? Yes, I did. Cement. So we're going to do some crafting in the next one, guys, if, if time allows. And we've got to do two more cabins. Oh, okay, where's the cabin zone one? Across the water. Of course it was. I have no idea of the best way across this water. There's a wee road, as you can see, right here. But where's the road on this side? That looks like rocks to me right there, where my mouse is, if you can see it. Is that the road? I haven't noticed. So much still to learn about this map. But guys, I'll go and get repaired. And I'll see you when we're ready to go for the next episode on the return journey. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.